drastic times call for drastic measures. It's what led these two women from African Gardens in August Town, St. Andrew, to start their own business after losing their jobs in January. Maxine Lowe said she started looking after getting desperate. I was here wondering what I was supposed to do and I went on YouTube started looking at headbands and I started thought she reopened her mother's dressmaking shop but though she had no experience due to having a fear of sewing machines as a child she had to compel herself to overcome it shock for no say <laughs> yeah but come around machine me jump on the tree machine like a long time me as well mm -hmm. just the passion and I have this hidden talent that was in me and I was afraid to use it. Maxine then partnered with her friend Veronique Thomas, who also lost her job. With the business going great, they decided to start sewing clothes. People are saying that they didn't know that we had this talent all along. Their encouragement motivates us as well. Maxine is heartened by the fact that she's making her mother proud. Everything that we make, we say that she's like she's crying and like she's uh, she's proud. If you know say, um, me I follow, um, follow her footstep, picking up our trade, and yeah, me I, um, every day, as I said, every day, me I get to love it more and more. She's hopeful their business will flourish. People always have to buy clothes. Yeah, so I feel like it it would take. Veronique hopes their drive to overcome their challenges will inspire others to start their own business. If you have something that you really like or something that, that you love to do or whatever, don't make because of this whole coronavirus thing, you withhold from it. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have money in large quantity to start something. You can start from nothing and become something. With a ray of hope, I'm Kayan Morgan.